Now, are you practicing your viola while I'm away on my viola retreat? No. You're not? No. Are you pretending to? Yes. Would you like to practice your viola? Maybe. Are you glad I'm not there to make Where? you practice? Yeah. Okay, good. You want to say hi to anybody? No. Okay, good. Well, hello there. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who could not join me, I am in the beautiful city of Kansas City, Missouri on a three-day soiree excursion here. Now, is this, how does this work? I zoom out. Yeah. I bet about check. Hopefully, I look good. Anyway, let me show you something. When I used to live here for some 15 years, but now I've been away about nine. This was one of my favorite places to go. Right there, the antique mall. Oh yeah, baby, baby. I got me some good cars. And that's what this trip's all about. Yeah, I'll play a little viola. Yeah, I'll do a few other things, visit people. But it's all about die cast collecting. I don't think he's going to practice. I think he's just going to look for toy cars. Okay. I just finished looking around in there. And unfortunately, I didn't find any really good cars that I didn't have already. Actually, I didn't have many cars at all. But that's because there's a couple of guys, these old geezers that live here, that come in and they snag all the good ones up first. And because I live close to where these guys live, I'm sure they're here all the time. But anyway, it was still fun from a sentimental standpoint, but in a way I'm a little sad because one of my... Yeah, one of my old girlfriends, Juicy, her and I used to come here all the time. We both like to go to antique stores and different malls things. I'm kind of tearing up a little bit. She, she dumped me a few years ago. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. I, I, you know, I, I, you know, I just couldn't marry her. I just couldn't say yes. I couldn't say anything. Um, hello. That'd be better if you played your viola, jerk. You know. If it weren't for my Oshkosh Viola Posse members that just keep me loving Oshkosh and my dear mother and my family, I'll tell you what, I'd probably consider moving back here in a heartbeat because for me this year is just utopia. All right, I've kept you in suspense long enough. Here it is. There it is right there. See it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna move it for a second because I got a kind of got a garbage truck in the way here. I want you to check out this brand new fancy bridge that they just built too. Look at that sucker right up there. Oh baby, that's a good one, ain't it? Yeah, but you, you guys wish you were here. In fact, I kind of wish you were all here too. This would have been a great Oshkosh Viola Posse trip to have made. Could have all hopped in my car and I could have annoyed everybody by just going from store to store looking for cars and stuff. Whereas, but I did bring my viola and I promised Katie and Brittany and whatever those other violas are, what their names are, I forgot, who take lessons with me or actually don't show up for their lessons or do show up and I forget to show up. But, uh, uh, you know, maybe we'll do a little viola thing here, and, and we'll, we'll find out if anybody knows about the Oshkosh Viola Posse in Kansas City. I think that's a that's a good plan, you know. I, I think we need to really get it going here. So I, I'm going to let you see a little bit more of the town. I, I know I'm talking your ear off here a little bit, but, geez, you know, I haven't been back here in what's it been, about a year now, maybe even a little longer, and I'm like a freaking kid in a candy store, you know, and, of course, I'm trying to keep my eyes on the road. Hey, Mom, look, no hands. Ah! Oh my god, Sean, he's definitely not going to practice his viola. So, downtown Kansas City, here we go. We're just going to take the loop. This is known as the Scenic Loop. For those of you not familiar with Kansas City, this is Kansas City, Missouri proper. There's two Kansas cities. There's a Kansas City, Kansas, and then there's the Kansas City, Missouri. The bigger of the two is this, which is called Kansas City, Missouri. They have some very nice buildings here. However, I know many of you are wondering, what about this unusual Kansas City, Kansas City, right? You're probably wondering about that, aren't you? Oh, wait, sorry. There you go. There's a little bit more of that, okay? As you can 
can tell, the traffic's not too bad right now. You know, I think if I wasn't a viola player, oh shoot, I gotta get off here. This here's my exit. Oh damn, I hope I don't have a car accident right while I'm filming. Oh, I'm gonna get beeped at. Okay, anyway, I wanna show you Kansas City, Kansas, because this is the Beltway. And if you look right over the edge of this here thing, that's a good term for it, thing. There is beautiful downtown. Kansas City, Kansas, that's right. It is only separated by a road. Kansas City, Kansas. Kansas City, Missouri. See? There's Kansas City, Missouri right there. And there's Kansas City, Kansas over there. Okay. Here, I am finally at a place I consider the holy mecca of toy stores. That's right. Here it is. Troy's Toys the most incredible toy store in Kansas City. This is as close to Nirvana as it gets. Yeah. But it gets, this is close. Let's go in and see what they got for me. I knew it. That is what he's gonna do. What a bum. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here in Kansas City and I told you it was big. It was bigger than big. Look at this. Look at these cars. This is the reason you come to Kansas City and you go to Troy's Toys. Now me, Troy, you're not going to tell him how much I spent today because my mom's looking at this too. I'm not going to tell him you spent $110. Yeah, don't even tell him that. Don't even let them know how much it is. These are just a few samplings of the amazing cars at Troy's Toy Store. It's unbelievable. Of course, I'm going by kind of fast. I'm a little hyper today. You can understand why, because I'm here in my favorite place in the world. That's right. That's Troy. There he is. Uh, I gotta go now. Uh, I, I'm, I'm getting laid out. Oh wow! This is this is so amazing. I I, I want to be just like Steve when I grow up. Nope. It ain't a typo error. That's the real deal. Quick Trip is called Quick Trip. Well, they spell it differently. I gotta tell you something. This has the most euphoric drink in it. I'm gonna take you inside and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. It is called Rooster Booster. Come on in, let's go look at it. They got those different Quick Trips down there in Kansas City. Spelled with a Q-U-W instead of a K-W, which is the proper English spelling. I always wondered about that. your wine and I brought some back with me for you. Brewster Brewster, that's the stuff that'll make you playing too. Uh, many people have asked me, where did you live when you lived in Kansas City? Well, one of the places I lived, actually the only place I lived after my girlfriend dumped me, uh, was right here. There it is. That top apartment. 11145. Yes. And, uh, Let's do a quick panoramic swing. This is the apartment complex, as you can see. Very nice. Looks uh, quite a lot like it did when I was here. They've done a little bit of remodeling. Of course, I'm somewhat remodeled myself. I look. Here's where I used to live, apartment 25. Looks like they put a new name tag on the door. Anyway, one of the things I always used to like to do was I used to like to come up here, and of course I was up on the top, and it was always very nice. And I like to stand up here and enjoy the scenic view of my uh, balconyist kind of area. So as you can tell, it's a nice panoramic view. I'm hoping I can uh, sneak into the pool maybe later tonight and uh, give you guys a chance to see the ultimate pool. Yeah. Loser. Mm -hmm. Work. 
nothing. Okay, guess who? Yeah, me. Hey, guess what? I'm at my favorite park. You know, I'd probably say, well, my definitely my favorite park in Kansas City. And it's Shawnee Mission Park. I'm going to let you look around, and I want you to notice something. I want you to pay close attention to the grass. This is the way almost everything in Kansas City looks. Who cares about the grass? You should be buying gifts for me. And Why am I even watching this? Shawnee's definitely got nothing done. Have you ever heard of the Oshkosh Viola Posse? Yes. And what is your favorite thing about them? They're funny. Oh, that's close enough. Funny? I'm a great looking guy and I'm a great viola player. I'm definitely not funny. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here at the ultimate die-cast car collection you've ever seen in your entire life. This is just a mere smattering of the amazing cars. Now, these are all valued at somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty to fifty thousand dollars. You can see all the variations, but this is just a mere snippet of it. Let's go in and meet the master collector himself. Ladies and gentlemen, in his own customized room, please say hello to Mr. Bill Meckler. How are you today, sir? Fantastic. This is your collection, and uh, these are my Oshkosh Viola Pondy students that are watching this. And I told them that if they're really, really good, I will bring them some cars back. Come on in, and let's look a little bit on this wall here. As you can tell, the walls are completely lined with cars. Do you see all these cars? Up, down, back up. Let's go further down. At last count, there was somewhere in the neighborhood of 22,000 cars. Now, come here. I want you to look at this display. These are some of the rarest of the rarest Hot Wheels there are. Now, Mr. Meckler, let me ask you a question. This car is very, very valuable. If I were to put this in my mouth, swallow it, and let it come out my butt, would that increase the value or decrease the value? It would increase your value, decrease the value of the car. It would be good for fiber. That's what That's I kind right. of thought. All right, so here's a nice little display. Now, let me show you these over here. You can collect all the buttons, the pins. And over here, let me show you some of the amazing dioramas. Look at this. Is this amazing or is this amazing? Look at that. Zero in on this right here. Kids, your viola teacher wants for Christmas this, this, and this. See? And then if you are really, 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 really nice to me, which you always are, you can get me some of these, too. Now, oh, feast your eyes on this. This is the Holy Grail. This is Mecca. I am standing in Mecca. You've heard of Vatican City? This is Vatican Meckler, a collection extraordinaire. Follow me down here now. As most of you know, I like the emergency vehicles, and he has quite an assemblance of them. Look at these over here. Unbelievable, of course. Now, we're going to get to the really rare stuff. Mr. Meckler, can you tell us something about these unbelievably highly collectible Matchbox cars over here? This is... Oh, oh, he's going to go over this there. Is, this is my most valuable car in the collection. <gasps> How did you ever get an Oshkosh Viola Posse police car? Oh, excuse me, what is that? Oh, is that just a regular car? Okay. But how did you ever get There's that? There's a police car? I must Ooh, have it. I just <laughs> let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> I did bring you a surprise to that. This did cost me $100,000. $100,000? <laughs> on eBay. On eBay, huh? Over 300 bids. Wow. <laughs> now, come on over here, folks. I want you to see what has transpired. Now, I'll tell you, he is married to the absolute perfect wife because she comes down here and she goes, Oh, honey, I just love what you've done with the cars. In fact, what he's done now, come a little closer here. So you look, he's run out of space, so he's built extra shelves over the shelves, and he's put cars in behind the cars. Now, how many cars do you think it were possibly on that whole shelf right there, maybe? Uh, a few thousand. Two thousand. At least two thousand just right there. Now, come on over here. Check these out. Now, these are even more rare and ex expensive. But I think we need to show them the construction stuff, don't you? Because I'm going to let Mr. Meckler over here tell you a little bit about the rarity 
and scarcity of some of these cars that are in this cabinet. Um, I better let you open that up here. <laughs> there you go. Can, can you can you can you show my viola posse people uh, a little bit about some of these cars? Um, because these are these are these are like these are the big ones. This is this is mucho dunanero, right? These are these are all my construction equipment. So I like the construction equipment because that's what I played with as a boy. Yeah, that's right. So. And you still do play with them a little bit, don't you? From what I understand. A little. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A little. All right. And then we've got a few more down here. Yeah. And these on this shelf right here are just the ones you picked up this week. I think you said something about, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Um, we cut my son's college fund so that I could buy these cars. He doesn't need to go to college. No. Kids, I keep trying to tell you, going to college is a waste of money. What you really want to put your money into is die-cast cars. This is really this weird. This is the future. This, this is the future. future. Who wants to go to college? That's dumb learning <laughs> stuff. That's I right. Mean, get out there. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Remember, there's only a hundred and some odd days left for Christmas, and I want you guys to get out there and buy me some stuff, because I'm a nice guy, and I deserve more cars. Buddy, what's wrong? I mean, you're in heaven. This is heaven, man. I don't know. I just, I worry about my dad sometimes. What, what's, what's, what, what could you worry about, man? Look at, look at this room. It's, it's got everything. It's, it's just, it's filled with everything. Anybody could want. Wait a minute. I know you. You're little Nick, aren't you? I little Nick, don't you? You were the guy that had those treasure hunt cars and you used to open them up in front of all the other Hot Wheel collectors. I remember that. And your dad used to sit there and belly laugh. You were hardcore into all these. This is all going to be yours when he kicks the bucket. What are you worried about? The times have changed. I'm a different person now, Steve. Well, but what would you want more than this? Please don't tell me it's a social life. It's like maybe a social, sort of like a girlfriend and maybe... Uh, other things that don't involve being cooped up in one room for hours and hours on end. It could be that, could it? Thousands and thousands of cars are enticing, but sometimes I think I just have to move on. You gotta move on? I think so. Okay, can I keep the cars? I think so. Yes! <laughs> Say I can't believe I can't believe Steve Shawnee's here. That's right, there he is. All oh, no, those can't be Steve's viola retreat teachers. Oh, oh, you guys didn't see that. Oh, by the way, this is a nutritious milkshake. I'm over here at Teresa's Drive-In with Big Daddy, Doug Lytle. Let me stay at his place. There it is, right here. Look at this place. I mean, amazingly good food. And I'll bet you there's no fat and no cholesterol and all that stuff. Watch this. Mmm. Mmm. Look. Oh, just kidding. Mmm. Now I'm freaking hungry. All right, see that guy? See that guy? I'm gonna get. You. Oh, you turd! Yeah, buddy, who got him? Huh? Say hi to all my Viola students in Oshkosh. <laughs> yeah, tell them I'm the Yeah. Hey, this is the Grizzman. This is the best Viola in Kansas City. Right here. Look at that guy. It's a legend in his own mind. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's my future wife? Well, she's not here. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Was she dumped me? She dumped me. She left me for another man. Well, she's a team. So lucky. Oh, my God. I bet you that Shiny's old viola teacher. I wonder he's such a bum. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at Crown Center Plaza in beautiful downtown Kansas City. Here's some of the Crown Center Plaza. I want to show you the ultimate diorama right here. This is the scale model of the Crown Center Plaza in miniature form. As you can tell, hours and hours of times have been spent building this amazingly great 
diorama. Many of you are wondering, how much practice time did Steve get done today so far? Oh boy, I'll tell you, I've been working like a dog today. But is this something, or is that a diorama, huh? Look at that baby. Anyway, I'm here, and I'm going to look around, and I'm going to see if anybody has heard of the Oshkosh Viola Posse at Crown Center today. I'll be back. Well, you ain't getting nothing done, as usual. Excuse me, you heard of the Oshkosh Viola Posse? Hmm? How about you? Have you heard of the Oshkosh Viola Posse? Hmm? Excuse me, man, have you heard of the Oshkosh Viola Posse? Uh, here's my card, okay? Uh, see you later. Hey, buddy. You ever heard of the Oshkosh Viola Posse? Okay. Yeah. What a bunch of losers. I can't believe they've heard about you in Kansas City. I follow the breath. I meditate on the viola and the oneness of viola and the orchestra. The orchestra is the viola. The viola is the breath. The viola is the orchestra. I meditate with Lord Buddha and my acolyte. Do you want to learn the way of the viola, the way the way of the breath, the way of the flatted third, we are here to teach you. Namaste. say shine is really lost at this time. Sorry my life dealing with them like that. You know, I did my best, guys. I think we need to uh, maybe do a little more, uh, you know, I think we need to do a little bit more networking. This uh, whole uh, Oshkosh Viola Posse thing in Kansas City just ain't working out. I mean, I might as well just might as well start talking to some imaginary people because nobody seems like they've heard of us. So I'm gonna go and see if I can, I don't know, find somebody else that might have heard of us. So whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, I know what you're thinking. This looks like a bad idea, right? I'm 55 years old, roller skates. No, I know what you're thinking. I'm going to probably try and do this with my viola. No. Look, I'm just going to get in shape. And by the way, I am old school. No roller blades for the Stevie boy. I am retro all the way. White style pimping, you know. Anyway, I'm going to get some exercise in here. Been a long time, about a year or two. And I'm going to just let you kind of see my path that I'm taking. Here we go. I'll probably have to practice a little bit later tonight, but for right now, I think it's all about getting out. Oh, yeah, who's the man? Who's the man? Look at this. It's like, I'm, I'm a natural. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I was a man. Wait. Oh, no, not a bridge. 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 Uh, 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 oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm glad I didn't have my viola with me, though. Loser. Oh, yeah. Look who's back. Back again. Shawnee's back. Tell a friend. Hey, okay, so that must have been a, just a fluke thing, freaking nature sort of thing. Anyway, I got her going now. Check it out. Nice out, huh? All right, folks. Anyway, as I'm going along here, I want you to think about one of the viola techniques that I've learned while roller skating, see? I am roller skating, I think you can see that, is the bow. So all of us do this with the bow. Roller skating bow, yes! Ah. Wrong arm. <laughs> ah, this is, this is no fun. Is that, I'm just supposed to do this? Get another waste of time. 
Big waste of time. Okay, this is worse. I can't do that. This is so stupid. This is just so stupid. Alright, now. We're going to focus on going forward here. Down the path. Down the path. And while we're doing that, I want us to work on our vibrato. Open up the wrist. Relax. Not over, but back and forth. Got it? Just like that. Back and forth. And back and forth. Unbelievable, huh? Oh, big whoop. Waste of time. My vibrato is fine. Waste of time. Hey, I can't text like this. Screw that. All right, you guys. Do you see this? That's the steep incline. I'm gonna do it, and I ain't gonna fall. Are you ready? Hopefully, I can talk my nephew into kind of putting some really cool music behind this while I'm doing it. You ready? Are you guys still working on your bow? Vibrato? Here we go. Man, guess what? I just saw a snake. I gotta find it. Where'd he go? Here he is. Look, here's a snake. I hope you guys ain't afraid of snakes. Look, there's a snake right there. Look, see him? There he goes. Right there. There he's going. Come here, you. Stop. Maybe old posse wants to see you. There you go. What do you think, huh? That there's a real snake. Oh shit. Oh, he almost. That's like I tried to go for my. Go try and get in my shoe. <laughs> All right, I know, I know. You're probably wondering. Ah, uh, you're thinking Shawnee rolled into the drink with his skates. No, well, it was close, okay? It was close. No, I took them off, and uh, I needed to sell my feet because my feet are sore now. Man, I'll tell you what, um, Lexi. You're watching this for me right now because I'm uh, Skyping this to you. Make a note to make a note that that you need to remind me to remind you to remind me to remind the students that I teach. I don't know their names. Do we have them written down somewhere? Anyway, uh, that one of the great things about playing viola is the ability that after you're done. Ooh, this is some pretty green water here, huh? God, I hope this... I don't get no ticks or Lyme disease in here. Anyway, maybe I'll just sit down for a minute and just... Lexi, um, like I was saying, just oh, remind me about this... Uh, oh, uh, I'm, I don't remember what I was going to tell you to remind me about. What was that? What was that? What was that? Who's uh, calling me? Uh, hello? Where are you? Lexi, what? What do you want? I'm on vacation. What are you bringing me back? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Everybody's going to want me to bring them something back. Oh, oh boy, are you going to spend a lot of money? Yes, I got you something too. Yeah, really special. Just for you. Oh yeah. Don't worry, you're my favorite secretary. I better be. Okay. Yeah, hold down the fort, okay. I'll get to work and practice. You're on your real retreat. What? 
Oh man, oh, that was a good nap. I gotta get going. Ugh, I feel all kind of itchy and everything though. Ugh. If there weren't like parasites or anything in that water. Oh boy, are they gonna love when I'm bringing them back. Check this out. Special sacred river rocks right there from right where I was in the water. Them are those sacred river rocks. I'm going to give one to each of my students. They will love one. And I'll bet you Lexi will like the biggest one for herself. Viola retreats don't get no better than this. I'm going to practice right now, by the way. Hi. I'm so mad. Everyone is in Kansas City for the really big... Viola retreat, except for Shawnee. I organized this big event and he didn't even show up. Well, actually, he doesn't show up to a lot of things. But I hope he shows up to this one. Okay, I'm going to try something. I know you guys are going to get mad at me, but hopefully we won't get in trouble. I'm going to try and sneak in to my old swimming pool apartment complex. I know it's going to be illegal. I'll probably get arrested for trespassing, but I'm going to try it. Oh boy, is the door open? Oh man, I got in. Oh, I'm being cool. I'm going to try it. Swimming pool area. Look at this. Shawnee still hasn't played his viola. Wow. Do you know how much trouble I could get arrested for this? I am seriously trespassing. You know what? I hope they arrest me. Because I'm going to film the whole thing if I get arrested. Again, I'm not bailing him out. I've done that too many times. I'm broke. I'm sick of it. Guy got absolutely nothing done when he was gone. so good but tell you what you guys it's been a great viola retreat as you can tell I've gotten a lot of viola playing done by uh, all the video that I've just sent you and I got a new idea I think we're gonna change the name of the Oshkosh Viola Posse to the Oshkosh Viola Roller skaters! Yeah! Maybe from our own roller derby team. I love it! Let's do it! Roller be a